Happy Friday, everybody. Today, I am about to get my hair cut. I am in kind of a random part of town. It's, it's called Uptown, but I'm in this like weird shopping center thing that I never come to. So parking's like a little bit weird, but I finally found parking. So this hairstylist is a hairstylist I used to use at a different salon, and he transferred salons, so now I'm trying this new salon out. We'll see how it goes. Just going in for a trim today because I put so much heat on my hair that I just need a little bit of a trim. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll vlog when I get in there. All right, guys, this is Jen. Just did my hair. It looks incredible. Look how healthy that looks. And you see that shine? One product. So tell them which one you used. I used a Paul Mitchell product. I see it. <laughs> He's the most animated guy I know. Gold straight works. Oh. Doink. Cool. Doink. Well, clearly it worked. Look at that. Is that a heat? Oh, just dropped the product. Does, does that have heat protectant in it? It does have a little bit, but it's not it's not intentional. Oh my god. I mean, that's not the like main reason, you know, to put it in your hair. Oh, I'm going home now. I love my hair. The best thing about Paul Mitchell is the non-animal testing stuff. Though. That's great. Mm -hmm. Great stuff. All right. Well, sweet. Sweet. sweet Digging it. So I'm in the bathroom, and the music is like. when you run into your roommate at a coffee shop. <laughs> Hi, Bryden. <laughs> I love my hair, he did a great job. I've gone to this guy for a good while now. Now, I'm heading to a cafe called Mongolia Cafe. It is so cute, just wait till you see it, it's so cute. Wait for it, oh my gosh, so cute. Here we are, latte salad and all. Y'all, the weirdest thing just happened. I somehow received a call from myself. Literally, my name popped up and it was like, Janine is calling you. And I'm like, so I answer, no one says anything, and then they just hang up. How? What? Did someone hack my phone? Did someone hack my phone? Did someone, does someone have like access to my phone? Can, is like listening to my conversations? Yo, 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 I am back home. I got some errands taken care of. I'm uploading a vlog right now, so I'm good, feeling productive. I'm about to fold up this pile of laundry, put it away, so I'm gonna kinda fast motion that. Um, turns out about my phone thing, I posted about it on Insta Stories, and a lot of people were saying that my phone could be getting hacked, or that it's like a scam call, or that a lot of people with AT&T are getting this call. Very weird situation. Some people were like, check your bank account. So like, I'm a little freaked out. Probably should check all that, because that's kind of freaking me out. Um, so I hope everything's okay, but good thing is, I'm not the only one experiencing it, and it's a common problem. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not like crazy, you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm gonna start putting away my clothes. I'm in the car now, about to go run errands for filming a fall video. My lips look so massive today. I did not even mean to like overdraw. I don't know if I did, but they look kind of cuckoo today. Can we take a second the fact that Post Malone just dropped a new song? Gonna go run some errands, heading to Target, like TJ Maxx, just trying to get some stuff for some videos. First stop is North Park. I'm going to Bath and Body Works, and then next is TJ Maxx, and then next is Target. And then next is Michael's. Busy, busy day. Here we are. I hate how basic I am. I'm having a freak out. These smell so good. Not bad, not my favorite though. Marshmallow fireside. <laughs> I need it. This is literally like the best scent you will ever find. I, I need it, I need it. And I might be getting you guys something too. TJ Maxx is coming through right now for me. Target is coming through too. This is all like dollar section stuff. I'm so amped about all this. So amped. All right, back home, I got so much stuff for this video. I actually feel like I paid a decent amount because I budgeted very well and went to good places, had some cheap stuff, so this is definitely gonna be a little 
fun video. I'm going to be doing kind of like how to decorate your room for the fall, like cheap ways you can do it, a little bit of some DIYs. You know, I got a bunch of stuff, so that's exciting. I am making some dinner downstairs, so I'm gonna go and eat that really quickly. I'm gonna try and film this whole video tonight and edit it tonight. Wish me luck. <laughs> I think I can do it. I'm just not gonna sleep and not gonna go anywhere tonight. Tonight I am making quinoa. No surprise there. And of course, no surprise here either. Lots of veggies, which are almost done in about two minutes. All right, about to start filming. Let's freaking go. I put on the dark lip, ready for fall. Um, this is about to be one heck of a long, long night. I'm ready for it though. You guys, it is 11.08. I just took off my lipstick because it was so horrible. This lipstick sucks. It's like color pop or something. Anyway, my room is a disaster, but things are looking so cute. Let me just kind of show you guys. So here's my bed. And I have all my ring lights still set up. I got some candles and little twinkle lights going. A little basket of cute scarves, some clothes. And yeah, my room's a disaster. It's so, it's so bad. Anyway, so I have this one other shot I gotta do. And then should be done in a little bit here. You guys, I did it. I finished filming. Even though my room's a disaster, I did it. I'm so proud of myself. Only thing is now I gotta edit the whole thing and it's 12 o'clock at night so I'm probably gonna make myself a little bit of coffee and then it's time to get to work. I'm just gonna end the vlog here because I'm gonna be editing all night. I'm determined to get this video up. So if you guys enjoyed today's vlog, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Truly do mean it from the bottom of my heart. My battery is dying. I hope you're wondering. ColourPop Avenue. I know you guys are wondering. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye. Good morning, happy Monday, here I am. It is currently 11.37, starting my day off a little bit late. Normally I start my day around 8.30 and today was just a weird exception, let me explain. So last night I was editing, I was trying to get a vlog up today and I ended up falling asleep at my computer around 9.30 last night. That's a rare thing for me to go to bed at 9.30. I was just so tired because Friday, if you guys remember, I stayed up till 7.30 in the morning editing my fall room decor video and I wanted to get that up so I was like, I'm not, I'm gonna like lose sleep over this. So I was determined to get that video up and I did, I'm really proud of myself, I'm very proud of the video but it just threw off my whole sleep schedule this weekend. So yesterday, which was Sunday, I was so tired. Went to sleep at 9.30 last night, which is very rare for me. And then I woke up at seven and I was like, wait, whoa, what's going on? Woke up at seven, kind of started checking my emails, whatnot, and then I fell back asleep and woke up again around 10.30. Since then, I have just been kind of, you know, checking emails again, doing some editing, just planning out my day as I always do every single morning. But yeah, today is just more of a chill day. I do have some things to do. I'm gonna do a yoga class, I've got some organizing to do, videos to do, planning to do, just, you know, it's a nice little casual Monday. And I did self tan last night, so that's probably why I look more orange than normal. I used the loving tan. I swear, in person it looks pretty great, but on camera it makes me look super orange. But I really feel like in person it looks pretty natural, so I don't. If you noticed that I'm looking orange, that's why. So this morning I did something a little bit weird and random and I don't know. I basically got my groceries delivered to me. Now I normally don't do that. I'm normally like totally fine with going and getting my groceries myself, but Brighton, my roommate, she told me about this app called Instacart. She's like, Janine, you're going to freaking love it. She's like, you'll never have to grocery shop again in your life, which I mean, I would, I would not do this on a regular basis. You can get your groceries delivered to you through this app called Instacart, and you literally just go on the app. I'm sorry, this is not even sponsored, nothing at all. There's Brighton. <laughs> And yeah, you literally just go on the app and you can just like pick out what groceries you want the person to get you. Yeah, you just scroll and pick out what you want. So this is what I ordered in my last order. Anyway, so this person goes and shops for you and then they just deliver it to you. And I think like your first month, I think your first month is free with the app. Um, so I'm gonna post my referral code down below because like if you sign up with my referral code Then you get money and I get money. And it's just like a win-win and I'm not saying do this on the as a regular basis But if you're ever like having a really busy week or you're just not in the mood or like whatever the case may be Just don't want to go grocery shopping. This is so cool. Like definitely try it out So I'll have it down below for you guys again. This is not sponsored It's literally something Brighton told me about and it's so helpful. So yeah, here it is groceries and all Funny story with that, the lady, like something happened with her app and the app like malfunctioned and it said that she delivered the food but that she delivered it to like my neighbors down the street and I was like, 
holy crap and like after you complete the order it wouldn't let me go and like call the lady or contact anybody so i'm like i literally went and walked over to the neighbor's house knocked on the door gonna be like um i think someone delivered groceries to your house that weren't yours i was freaking out and then somehow i found the lady's number who was delivering the groceries called her and i was like um i think you delivered the wrong house and she's like no 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 no. like i i messed up on the app like don't worry i'm coming to your house i was like oh praise god because that would have been a lot of money just down the drain to some neighbors and they got real lucky with my food anyway that's that's enough for the day i'm going to unload these groceries Okay, I'm going to make banana pancakes and a lot of you guys have been asking me for the recipe So here it is. I'm gonna show you guys how I make it and what I do. So let's start All right, I get a pretty big pan heat that up the Trader Joe's coconut oil spray Put that on low let that start heating up and then I do one fourth cup of steel cut oats two eggs Okay, a banana, one big banana. Okay, and then we're gonna get organic flax seed, and we're gonna do half a teaspoon of flax seeds. And it's optional to add one tablespoon of cinnamon, but I don't do that. And then just blend that bad boy up. Now it should be good to go. This is pretty milky today, but it will end up getting more solidified as you cook it. And then I do it on pretty high heat. <laughs> if it's too liquidy, then just add more oats, and that's what I did. And voila, we have some pancakes. Even though they are like black and they look burned, they still taste totally fine. These do tend to burn a little bit quicker because they're very thin, but it does not taste bad at all. Like you don't taste the burnt stuff. They're delicious. Now it is time to unload the dishes. start my day in a way um, the first thing that I have to do today is go get my car detailed it has been a hot disgusting mess for a long time I've had stuff spill in my car and it just it needs it needs help it needs Jesus basically so I'm gonna go get that detailed today after that I'm gonna get my nails done at 430 then I'm gonna do a yoga class it's like a sculpt class um, because I was supposed to work out this morning and then, like I said, I fell back asleep so that was weird. So I want to make sure I get a workout in. So if you guys want, if you have a core power yoga around you, you can get the first week for free. And I signed up and got my first week free. I'm trying to look at flights because I may be going to North Carolina for the Elevation Worship Tour. If you guys know, I'm obsessed with Elevation Worship. I just love them. They're my favorite worship band. They're having a tour and it's, there's one in North Carolina and Morgan and I talked about going together. So she just texted me and was like, are you wanting to go? And I was like, yeah, I wanna go. So I'm gonna look at flights for that in a little bit and hoping I get to go because I I love Elevation Worship. like. Love them. I, learned, I know like every single one of their songs. Uh, yesterday, I had to get a new phone because my speaker on my other one broke and I had no idea why. And I'm like not even mad about it because I just got another brand new phone for free because I had warranty. This time I like, the, the last time I got my phone I didn't put like a screen protector on it, like was kind of careless with it, which is like not normally like me, but I was just stupid and kind of got scratches on my screen and whatnot. So this time I like, Put a screen protector on and I'm like really trying to make sure I keep it nice um, but I don't think I'll be getting an iPhone X or 8 don't really care for them I'm also gonna wait a good while because I just got a new phone and like the iPhone 7 plus is totally fine and I'm also just curious to see what everyone else says once they get it because you know there's usually issues with phones like right when they come out so I feel like the best thing to do is wait but what I did get and I'm so amped for 
is I got the Apple Watch 3, the one with the cellular stuff. I'm so amped for that because there are so many times where like I want to go on a run or I want to go work out or go to the beach and I don't want to be lugging my phone around or even like if I just want to go out and I don't want to lug around my massive phone then it's nice to have my Apple Watch. Like It can do everything pretty much that my phone can do. So, so amped for that. And I just want it to, like, I'm super excited for all the fitness features it has. So I will probably do like an unboxing review type of thing once I get it, cause I'm so excited for that. Update on my Invisalign. I'm definitely, it's still just kind of driving me nuts. Like this retainer thing. I've had people look, literally come up to me and be like, looks like you have braces. And I'm like, that's the whole point of getting Invisalign is so that it doesn't look like you have braces. So I cannot wait till I get my different retainer that doesn't have these bumps on the outside. Um, and it's definitely been challenging getting used to it with like eating and just talking and wearing it out in public because I'm just not used to it. I haven't had to wear something like this since I was 16, so 16, 17, so this is like new for me again. Um, but I do feel like it's one weird. I've only had it for like two weeks now and I already feel like I'm seeing changes, which is kind of crazy. And it doesn't hurt anymore. It's not like uncomfortable. It's just like, it's just a new feeling I'm having to get used to that's just kind of annoying sometimes. Alexa, pause. The last step I'm doing is doing Candy K by Kylie. I tried her literally lip gloss, but I think it's just too light for me. So I'm gonna do candy K today. Candy K with the final. This is reminds me of candy paint with the white on top. That's a song by Post Malone if you didn't know. Alexa, play candy paint by Post Malone. Alexa, turn the volume up. Candy paint with the white on top. Lambo doors are the All right, so here's my makeup. You guys saw this makeup in my How I Glow Up video, so if you wanna see the full routine, it's on that video on my main channel. And now I'm going to go get my car detailed. Getting my baby girl all washed up. It almost kind of freaks me out though. <laughs> it kind of sounds like the world is ending when you're in here. So back in my car, they cleaned it. She looks nice and sparkly. Look how clean she is. And yes. My car is a she. I named her Diamond, but I don't know. <laughs> that name sounds so freaking bougie. I don't know if I want to keep that name. I just like, it was really hard for me to think of a name for her, so I just kept it Diamond. I'm at the salon and my toes are drying. Of course I got white. What else would I get? And then I did white on my nails. Love, they always do a great job. I just finished core power yoga. That class was insane. Like dripping, dripping sweat. It was crazy. Um, if you guys ever get the chance to do the class, I recommend it. Such a good workout. And now I'm gonna go home and make a nice healthy dinner. Back home, got some packages. I'm gonna show you really quickly what I got. First thing, the scarf. I may have gotten more for you guys. Intent. It's from Amazon. Next, I got something from this company called Lemire. I think it's workout clothes. Let's find out. Oh. It's like a set, but it's like wool. Seems kind of big. This is what it looks like. I'm confused. It's like straight up wool. I gotta try that on because I'm not sure how I feel about this to be honest. And then I got a white, a white top too. Like a regular white t-shirt. I think I need to try it on before I make my judgments, but so far I don't I've never worn something like that. It's from Fresh, which I love Fresh. I use their toners. So it's their fresh, fresh face instant glow luminizer with Meadow Foam Seed Oil. This is fun. That's what it looks like. 
Make it, endless, make it an endless summer. Keep that sun-kissed look with a new Fresh Face Instant Glow Luminizer Sunset. Natural looking golden glow, skincare makeup hybrid so your skin feels supple and looks radiant and can be worn as a highlighter, primer, or alone. Awesome, I'm gonna try that out tomorrow morning. Thank you, Fresh. Hey guys, so I'm showered up, clean, feels good. That was disgusting. And I made myself a quick dinner. Uh, tilapia, carrots, zucchini, and mushrooms. And I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos for a bit and just enjoy my night and then start planning out my day for tomorrow and then try to go to bed a little bit early tonight because I have to work out, I have to work out in the morning. All right guys, so I'm in my room now looking at the clothing from this company and it's very weird. Um, first off, <laughs> they're both very big on me. Um, these look, these just look horrible on me. And it's weird because the side is like mesh, so it's like what underwear would you even wear with this? And it just fits so awkwardly and this this could be so cute as like a crop top or something um, I don't know what this is intended for I'm really not sure but this is fine with these I'm like maybe these are just pajamas like pajama pants like sleeping pants I'm not really sure anyway um, I'm going to go to bed now I'm working out in the morning so I got to get up early in the morning but thank you guys for watching today's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys very soon. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.